Greetings from Fida Lab, and thanks for watching this training video. In this video, we're going to explain how to use our collection kit, which can be used with a hat, cup, or, as we'll focus on here, our proprietary URI pad. To get started, clean the patient's perineum area with soap and water or wet wipes, following state guidelines. Please make sure the skin is free of any fecal matter before inserting a pad. Our URI pad can be placed in any standard incontinence product. Place the pad in the incontinence product, being mindful of the placement. Make sure the pad is positioned near the urethral opening. Two pads may be used side by side for easier collection of a male specimen. Put the incontinence product on the patient and give them a glass of water. Wait 30 minutes and check the pad for urine. If no urine has been collected in the pad, continue checking every 30 minutes. Do not leave the pad on overnight or for extended time without supervision. Once you notice that the pad has become saturated, remove from the incontinence product and prepare to transfer the sample. Open up our collection kit. Inside, you will find a sample collection vial and a pipette. Please, label the vial with the patient's name, date of birth, and date of collection. It can be useful to place the tube in a cup to ensure the tube remains upright during the transfer process. Next, rip the URI pad open to best expose the saturated cotton. Use the pipette to extract the urine from the URI pad. Squeeze the pipette's bulb and place the nozzle in the most saturated area of the pad. Release the bubble to draw up urine into the pipette, and then transfer the urine into the vial. Repeat this process until the urine in the tube crosses the fill line. Cap the vial securely. If there was not enough urine in the pad to fill the collection vial, give the patient another glass of water insert another pad, and attempt to collect another sample. Samples from the same resident can be combined from multiple URI pads without worry of contamination. Once the sample is in the vial, the preservative inside will keep the urine shelf stable for up to five days without the need for refrigeration. Ensure that the requisition form is completely filled out, as missing information will result in delayed test results. Once you have your filled collection vial, Place in the biohazard bag along with the completed requisition form and accompanying paperwork. Then, either call for a Phytolab courier pickup, or use the supplied FedEx specimen packs to ship the urine to Phytolab for testing. FedEx and courier pickups can both be scheduled using our online portal, or by calling your local representative. And that's all. Thanks for watching.